Welcome to the Sage 50 Home Window. Over the next few minutes, we'll look at the layout of the home window and familiarize you with the features that are available across all modules. With its workflow design, the home window makes it easy to enter and report on transactions. The window is customizable, includes shortcuts for performing tasks, and you can access the features in a number of intuitive ways. Before we begin our tour, let's take a look at the terms used in Sage 50. You can view the home window using either accounting or non-accounting terminology. Currently, we are using non-accounting terms. If you're not familiar with accounting terms and principles, you may prefer this setting. If you are more comfortable using accounting terms, from the Setup menu, select User Preferences, and in the Terminology settings, select Use Accounting Terms, and then click OK. This setting will configure the home window to display accounting terms in the navigation pane and in task icon labels. Let's take a look at the home window features now, using the Receivables module for a demonstration. As you can see, the window has various panes. The navigation pane on the left offers easy access to all the modules in Sage 50. With each module selected, information specific to the module will appear in the panes on the right. Tasks are grouped in a pane according to workflow. If you are new to accounting or Sage 50, visualizing the workflow will help you become familiar with accounting practices and processes. Items in the Related Tasks pane are specific to the current module. For example, you can click Settings in this pane to configure options related to the module you are viewing. The panes on the right side of the window display lists, reports, and reports that you have viewed recently. To find reports easily, the Reports pane includes reports that are specific to the currently selected module. To view a report, select it and click Display. You can modify the report if necessary and print your results. To view most reports included with the program, use the Report Center. Here the reports are grouped by module or function. The Recently Viewed Reports pane keeps track of the reports you have viewed recently. This is a valuable time saver because instead of hunting for reports you have recently used, you can find them in this window. Let's move on and look at the shortcuts and customization opportunities that are available in the home window. Let's look at the shortcuts first. Within a task pane, right-click on an icon or click the arrow next to the icon to access a task-specific shortcut menu. Now let's look at the list pane. It displays information about the records related to the module you are viewing, and it also includes shortcut menus. For each record within the list, you can view more detail about the selected record, print reports, and perform related tasks. The columns in a list can be sorted by clicking on a column's title, and you can modify the order of the columns by dragging a column to a new position. You can show or hide columns in a list pane. Just right-click on a column heading and select or clear the columns you want to see in the list. Select the Inactive Records option at the bottom of the list to hide or show inactive records. Above the list pane, the session date can easily be changed by clicking the calendar next to the session date and selecting a new date from the calendar. As you can see, the session date is quickly updated. Now we'll look at how you can easily customize your home window. To build a list of frequently used tasks and reports, Click the Customize link, expand a module that contains the task you want to add to the list, highlight the task or report, and click the Add button. When you're finished creating your shortcuts list, click OK to return to the home window. You now have quick access from your shortcuts list, rather than searching for a task or report each time you want to use it. You can easily change the default module page by clicking Make this my default page to set the currently viewed module as your default. If you spend most of your time in receivables, you might want to select receivables as your default page. In this example, when you reopen the program, the home page will be receivables. To provide a larger viewing area for the list pane, you can minimize the reports pane by clicking the minus sign as shown here. Expand the panes by clicking the plus sign in the panes header. You can also hide and display the record list in the same fashion. And by the way, all the changes that you make to the home window are saved, so the next time you access the program, your home window appears exactly as you left it. 
The banking page provides an at-a-glance view of many banking-related features that can be found elsewhere in the program but are grouped here for ease of use. The task pane includes quick access to various banking tasks. This includes receive payments, make deposit, pay bills with shortcuts to different types of payments, reconcile accounts, and transfer funds. This page also includes an accounts list. The list includes accounts commonly used in banking transactions, cash, bank, and credit card accounts. The balances displayed in the list are based on the session date. You can select an account to view account details and transaction reports. For applicable accounts, you can also make deposits and reconcile accounts. And the other panes are similar to those shown earlier. Let's move on to the company module. It presents a variety of tasks in one easy-to-access location. These include job sites, and depending on your company's terminology, they may be referred to as projects or another term you've chosen. Here you'll also find the Daily Business Manager and Data Management. Data Management offers easy access to functions such as data backups and restores, database health checks, and the import-export functions. The Accountants pane provides access to your chart of accounts and your general journal, where you make journal entries. Accountants Copy is a feature that enables you to create a copy of your data for your accountant. You can also import journal entries created by your accountant from the Accountants Copy. The Company page does not have a list pane. Instead, it includes a Support and Services pane, which includes link to valuable services to help you get the most out of your experience with Sage 50. The other panes on this page are similar to those discussed earlier. Moving on, when you select the Learning Center, you'll be connected to Sage University, a launch pad for all your learning needs. You can search for training and view certification information. You can also access the online community, knowledge base, and more. Getting help with Sage 50 is easy, and the home window includes a few methods for finding assistance. There's a Chat with Support button on the toolbar, one click connects you with our knowledgeable support team. Make sure your service plan is up to date to benefit from this time-saving feature. The Help menu includes access to online help, technical support, the knowledge base, and a variety of other resources. And finally, you can enter a search term in the box at the top of any window to learn more about a specific topic or feature. This concludes our tour of the home window in Sage 50. From all of us at Sage, we thank you for joining us. And for more learning opportunities, we invite you to visit Sage University at www.sageu.com.